Have fun. Bye. What is up, M Efforts? Welcome to day number two of our little Wyoming adventure with Miss Melican fishing and Goldilocks, of course. They just dropped me off. They're going to do a little hiking and whatnot, and I, have, I can't come to a place that looks like this and not explore some more. Hope you guys liked the video yesterday. Um, today we are going to fish and explore some different waterways. Maybe go up that way, maybe go back and fish some of the same stuff and go even further down the canyon that way. Obviously pretty treacherous little hike getting down to the water right there, um, but absolutely worth it. There's actually a part up this river a little bit that's like a grassy meadowland type area. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Unfortunately, it's very easy to access. And so we were driving by there a little bit ago and there's like four or five fishermen in every little pool. It's absolutely packed. And so I'm gonna fish some stuff naturally that uh, is a little bit more sketchy to get down to. And you guys liked the, uh, the canyon fishing stuff. Yesterday it looked like in the comments, so, uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna go right down here. Same deal as yesterday. I got my uh, bass fishing stuff. Six cents jerk bait was the deal. And uh, yesterday, got some swim baits along. This is that ice slide I caught them on in Arkansas. Of course, on bait casters. I, I like to mix things up. I'm not, I'm not bougie enough yet, like Mr. Prof, to uh, use a fly rod. But a little bit of a hike ahead of us. Uh, I'll see you guys down there by the water. Hopefully, in one piece. Let's do it. This is the type of terrain I gotta get down to. Got a long ways to get down there. Of course, got to kind of scale the wall, which I got to be careful doing that because one, there's cactuses all over the place, prickly little bastards, and two, this is rattlesnake season. People have been talking about around here. Big, big rattlesnakes. Um, and if we get bit anywhere down here, we got issues because there's no hospital, anything within like 45 minutes, and that's after I get up the hill to the car. So yeah, gotta be a little careful today. There we go. Hey, we're pretty much down here. What I learned fishing yesterday in this area was if you got this, a trail, the fishing's gonna be a lot tougher. So we're gonna try to go places today where we got no trail. All right, we're gonna start right here. Yesterday, Stuff that looked like this was actually really good. Not the super rapids or the super slick, but kind of the stuff in the middle. So we're gonna kind of cast up there where it starts to speed up a little bit. Of course, most of our casts today are gonna be into the current, let it work down. That was one thing we noticed yesterday too. Got way more bites when, of course, bringing it naturally with the current because all these trout are facing upstream. Same thing goes for you guys fishing for bass and stuff and current you always want to cast upstream fish downstream everything in these fishes alive for the most part is coming that direction so they're used to that we got some cloud cover today too we'll see how that makes a different oh he missed it oh i must catch this fish Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that. That was so sick. He probably didn't, but that's a big fish we're messing with right here. Oh, 
Okay, and after spot number A was, uh, it was no good. Didn't catch any of there. Caught them the other day. Fish some new stuff. Uh, one thing I did notice was the flow was a lot lower and the water level was much, much lower as well. So I don't think that that helped. It was, there just wasn't a whole lot of water there. Got swerved by one really, really big rainbow. And that was sad. Miss Millican Fishing and Goldilocks are now with me. Um, trying to get stuck in hooks and whatnot over here. Spread the struggle bus. Oh, perfect. And now we uh, we totally switched areas. We went about half an hour downstream to the lake below where we were fishing previously. And we're gonna fish a spilling way area where there's supposedly some giant freaking fish. So uh, I got my bait. Let's catch stuff. Well, they're definitely pulling water here. God dang, he is ripping. I want to throw my swim bait quite a bit in this area. Just seems like better swim body stuff. But I'm also going to throw the six cents jerk bait a lot as well. Just kind of mix it up, switch back and forth. Maybe try some different stuff. I don't know. Obviously, we are over so far today. So let's start with the jerk bait. The old tried and true. There's literally supposed to be like world-class trout fishing right here like absolute giants so i'm hoping it's like the river where they haven't seen my newfangled bass fishing tackles oh god that's a good one too oh jesus get him betty we just moved spots miss mullican fishing is already dropping the hammer here let's go ease don't let's uh let me land that one for you I just mean, like your line's not very strong. Oh, that's a beauty rainbow, Becky. A dadgum beauty. Did you grab the belly? Wait a second, that might be a cutthroat. Uh, that might be a cut bow, actually. Yes, almost. Yes, almost. Oh God, get him. That's a cup bow, I think, Becky. Nice fish. Let me reel mine in real quick. That is awesome. What a great fish. Yeah, that's a cup bow, babe. Miss Millican fishing with the first fish of the day. So it's got the coloration of a rainbow, but then look at this under here. It's got the cutthroat red right there, which is a hybrid cutthroat. Rainbow trout on your damn spinner. That's like your first cast too. Miss Melican fishing with the awesome cut bow. That's the first cut bow I've seen in a long time. Hybrid, so sick. We just measured about 21 inches and we can keep one over 20 inches. So you got yours for the day, Betty. Breakfast of champions. Fist bump, except Becky doesn't want to drop her. <laughs> you know what I think that was the main reason for that was you got a brewski open. <laughs> You don't. I have none. <laughs> Betty, I've got an issue. What? You've caught a fish and I haven't. If I can't catch one here, there's a damn problem. A major one and it's me the spot definitely requires me to Jeremy Wade nice spot you got there pooch Looking good partnerships hmm trappers route some guy in a boat looks like a good place to fish I suppose This river is horseshit. Hmm. What'd you say, baby? You know that guy I am. <laughs> All right. I'm wading out to that seam where that big ass boulder is. And then I'm coming back.
Sit down. Hey, sit. Sit down. Stay. Oh God, yes. No, 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 no. Yep. No. Come on, Em. So that was a really interesting chain of events right there. Um, I actually talked to my good buddy, Brian, Dr. Brian, if you're watching. He comes up here a lot and he fly fishes and stuff. He's very serious about this stuff. But he was telling us when the, the current's super, super strong, like it is up here this morning, that up in these canyony cliffs, there's not really much of it over there like you can see, but down there, and apparently right up here where I was fishing, the trout tucks super, super tight, which that's current fishing 101, but the river is raging. And we finally found a spot that was good. I made that cast and had a trout pop out, just crushed my six cents provoked jerk bait. As soon as that happened, Emmy was fishing next to me and tried to go get the fish, of course, like she does every time, except it terrified me because she went down about 10 feet in about an eighth of a second and hit the brakes on the last rock before she jumped in, which looks like some super deep, right against the, right against the canyon right there. And she was good, she stopped everything. I flipped the trout up. It was like one of the most beautiful trout I've hooked this entire trip. Uh, it, was, it flopped once on the ground. I don't know if it hit a rock or, you know, they just get leverage on it because Malie's a 10 pound test fluoro and broke my line, went back into the river and lost my last of the uh, that color of six cents per book beer paid. And I, I don't think it's that big of a deal, to be honest, um, the color situation because these fish are gorging on whatever comes by them and the water's not that clean. So I would think we can, uh, we can get some bites. I just put this color on right here. Don't ask me what that is, I have no idea. But um, I think we're getting something figured out. That was badass. Oh man, this looks fantastic. If you stay on this big one, it's uh, a lot better grip it seems like than stepping over on the safer looking dirt. Oh, this looks so freaking good. There we go. There we go. I have no idea how big this fish is. Oh my God, look what we got. Another walleye. It's always weird when they don't jump and they fight like they're nothing. <laughs> That's why. Oh God, a freaking walleye. I caught a walleye. <laughs> I can't get away from them. That's the spot right there, by the way. Right in front of this guy. Well, Mr. Wallhead, can't hate you. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Some angled rocks, huh, Em? This looks familiar. We were just right here. Got a cast for you to make. Stand on this rock right here. That's a way. Tight to the rocks. Work it all the way until right in front of you, to your left. There you are, perfect. Oh, you're perfect. Slow. Let's do that a few more times. Hey, come on, no, 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 come here. Where are you going? Got one? Oh God, Becky's got a big one. Take your time with him, boo. I'm gonna get down here and land him for you. Nice fish, babe. Let's 
sit down and stay. Yes! That's awesome! Hell yeah, babe! Let's get up away from the water a little bit. Yes! Not a giant, ultra giant one, but that's an awesome fish. I have no phone on me, of course. Do you? My lady? That's a beauty. Great looking fish, mama. Miss Mulligan fishing. Thoughts on your first bow of the day? Epic. <laughs> Becky was over there freaking casting in the damn canyon. Ooh, careful. <laughs> Just about that one. Not a giant, giant one, but uh, way bigger than the ones we're used to catching at home. He's even kiped a little bit. A little kiper action. He's thick. We got, we got more stuff to cast to, Becky. I think we're bigger ones live. Let's get him back in the water and get over there. That is awesome. I'm jacked. That guy took a lot of casts. Was that only your second time through there? Because I casted there probably 20 times. <laughs> Just dancing up here. Don't worry about me. Just doing a dance. Come on in. My quads are on fire. <sighs> Might be easier. Whoa, that was almost bad. Oh yeah, oh. No! Oh! How did he come off? That was the biggest fish of the day by far. Damn it! He ate it and was ripping drag. Nice right, gone. Live and learn! Definitely wasn't the way we wanted to end it with a uh, losing the best fish of the damn morning, but super jacked on this place. This is uh, gonna be the end, I think of the canyon hopping adventures for now at least this is just taking the breath away unbelievable scenery miss Melican fishing caught a freaking slosh um along with a cut bow uh, yesterday i think it was yeah it was yesterday um she, she's the dadgum hammer schlocking with that little inline she's using a little meps inline spinner uh and then i was throwing a six cents for both but I'll, I'll link both right down below the deal with the canyon was though if you ever faced with this situation and the water is raging, it's pulling like as hard as they can pull it through the dam. We looked it up before we got here, which by the way, we haven't been on the grid for the last two days. So I don't know, hopefully you guys are like watching my videos and whatnot. If not, that's cool too. But uh, anyway, so the water's ripping and they are right against the face of that canyon where it's spinning around right on the edge. It's the only place you can get bit. You can't even fish out there in the middle. It's going too fast, but uh, yeah. Go hit the subscribe button if you like these type of videos and comment down below if you want to see more river trout fishing dangerous hiking treacherous stuff i'd love if you do that anyways thanks so much for watching this one members i'm not sorry i can't help this love like mine <laughs>